Hello, I'm here with Emma Frog in uh, Scott County. She has run this little store since 1956. She's run it 65 years. Her husband passed away in 1978, and she is still running this store today. She comes in at eight o'clock in the morning and stays till late in the evening, and we're gonna come back and do a story about her. So make sure to like the Appalachian Homes People and Places page so you can see her story coming up before long. Well, it's cold today, ain't it? It has been a cold one. I was just noticing there about the back part of your building, I guess that was your house originally that you lived in. Up to what year did you live here? I know you said you bought that place down there, what, in 69? I lived here from 56 up to I bought that place. Yeah. Raised your kids here in the back? Yeah. Worked all the time, I bet, didn't you? Didn't have no time raising kids and running the store, huh? I opened up here bright and early because the bread truck and the milk truck run about six o'clock. And I'd have to be up in time to do that and then the kids get ready for school. Yep. It's 1956 you started, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, 65 years now, huh? Yeah. Well. You're kind of a legend around here, ain't you? Been doing this for a while. Yeah. I got that book that I was telling you about that you're in, and that was back in the 90s when they come by here and did I that? I believe it was. Yeah? I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was in the late 90s. Right. And uh, I told you, he, I was out there picking up stuff, you know. I hate trash around in the yard. And he said, I'm going to just stand right there when he found out who I was, you know. He said, just stand right there. I want a picture of you. And I stood there, and he said, you'll pick up a book one day with your picture in it. And I thought, yeah, right. <laughs> but we did. Yeah. I'm going to go get that book out and let you sign it for okay. me, okay? We'll okay. get your autograph. Okay. Look at that. I found one, didn't I? Oh, you did. Got me a nice one, didn't I? Yeah. I bought me a good one. I said, I want to get me a nice one so I can get Thelma's autograph in here. All right. You probably know where it's at better than me. I saw it in there, but you're in there with Dolly Parton and everybody. Where you on the side? Let's see. Oh, I guess right in there would be good. Right there on that corner. Just put my name. Yeah. And date it for me if you don't care. Now, what is the day? The 8th? The day's the 10th. Is it the 10th? Lord have mercy. I'm off, ain't I? That's what I was wanting. I like collecting stuff like that from these little stores because, you know, when you shut down, there probably might not be nobody else to take over, you know? I know. You might be the last one to run it. And the only I, one run it. And I can't get half the stuff I order. No, it's hard to get stuff, ain't it? It is. Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, been a crazy time with this old COVID, ain't it? Oh, it has. So it's been... been uh, I'm about over it, ain't you? Yeah. About ready for it to be done with. Yeah. So many people has died. Yeah. 800,000. Lord. In the United I... States, I think. Last I heard, there's probably yeah. more than that now. Are you filming me? I am filming you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going to come by and film you one day. I just kind of been stopping by and seeing you every now and then, you know, and talking to you. And I, I had to order me one of these books here. Okay. I got it in. And, uh... Yeah, I see you still, you heat with gas over there, don't you? Yeah. Gas, and uh, that keeps it nice and warm. You got it warm in here, don't you? I stayed out here, you know, when the big snow come the other day. Yeah. I've got an electric garage door opener at the house, and right. I thought, if the power goes off, I can't get my car out. 
and I've got central heat and air and I wouldn't have no heat. So I stayed out here. Yeah, well, it's not the first time you spent the night here, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's nice to find a little store still open, you know, with all the big oh, chain yeah. stores that's kind of tuck everything over anymore. And they're not people like us. No, they don't know your name when they come in there. They just work there for somebody, for a big corporation, so they don't really care. These little you know, stores. I enjoy talking to people, and I like people. And I get along with everybody. And uh, so many people say, Mama, I don't know how you've stayed here all these years, and you're so nice to everybody. And I said, well, that's the way I was raised. Yeah. You were born here in Scott County? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was raised out here as Rugby Road. There was 10 of us kids. 10 of you. Back then, people had bigger families, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Can't afford to have that many now. And they know what work was, too. <laughs> I did. Had to work. Did you have a garden? Oh, yes. Me and my sister were just little, but my mother would give us a hoe. And we know what weeds was, and we'd pull the weeds. But she'd give us a hoe. In case of a snake, we could kill that snake. And we'd go, we had an apple orchard, and we'd pick up apples, and Molly would make apple butter and, and can apples and make jelly and everything, you know. That's well, how we lived. So. One by four strips on the shelves, and I would string up green beans to dry them in here if it was cold, if it was wet outside. Otherwise, I'd drive them outside. And people come in here and away from here, you know, and they'd say, what denomination are you? And I said, what are you talking about? They said, what kind of church you go to? I said, is that your decoration? I said, no, that's fodder beans. They said, what's fodder beans? I said, you dry green beans, and then in the wintertime that you cook them. And if I broke them up and dried them, then I'd put them in a jar and seal them so no bugs could get in them or nothing, you know. Yeah. And they thought that was my decoration. I'd take twine string and string up whole beans, and I had them hung on every one of those one by fours. <laughs> Did you ever yeah. sell them? No. You didn't? I cooked them. Well, them. I didn't know if you grew enough to sell. No, I cooked them and eat them. <laughs> So you told me that your husband uh, passed away in 1978, so it left you with the whole place by yourself. Did he help you work here at that time? or He didn't do much to help me. He didn't help you a lot here? You kind of run it the whole time yourself, huh? Yeah. Well, sounds like you've been a hard-working woman. So how'd you keep you know, all... How'd you, know. you not get remarried? I'm sure all these men's come by courting, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said the other day, said, somebody's going to come in here and sweep you off your feet, and I said, I don't think so. Well, I don't think that way. I've been working on my income tax, and I went from January up to part of December. You wouldn't believe the book that I've got, like this. Yeah? That I done last week, and I gotta wait till my uh, statement comes out for January, so I can get December in there. You would not believe the work I did. I'll show you this. Book. Okay. Well, you still do it all by hand, I see, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Lord have mercy. The well, boy, you sure have a pretty hand right in there. I started last week and I did all this, all of this, all of this. And I'm up to December. You putting down your sales and stuff like that for I your taxes? Down, I put down my electric bill, water bill, gas bill, and land tax and all that stuff that I use for my income tax. You You're know? right. And, uh, yeah, I keep account of everything. The guy that does my, when I get it all done, does my taxes. He said, boy, Thelma, you do a neat job. You do. That's some of the when finest you, handwriting I've ever seen. <laughs> people said, 
the other day there's some people in here and they they seen me working on it. And they said, where'd you graduate from college at? And I said, I didn't even graduate the seventh grade, grade school. You had to start working, I bet, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Stand up on a box and wash on the washboard. Yeah. <laughs> so I noticed you got a little chair. Do you sit back here and relax when you ain't busy and watch TV? I sit there sometimes. Sometimes. I've never caught you back up, but I bet you get back here every now and then. Well, I watch the news and weather sometimes. Yeah. You know, I'm not busy. You got some funny signs up here. I will be more than happy to give you credit if you're at least 80 years old and accompanied by your parents. <laughs> Do you sell a lot of spam and yeah. beanie weenies and yeah. Stuff? I sold a bunch of beanie weenies a while ago. Yeah? I went to the dollar store and they didn't have any. He come out here and bought him eight cans. Well, good. Yeah. <laughs> well. But I've got a truck coming tomorrow. Get stocked back up with a few things? Yeah. Well. That ain't your boyfriend, is it? No. He's huh? just a good friend. Is he courting you? No. no. Looks like he's bringing some food. That sounds like courting to me. He rented off me for about 15 years. Oh, okay. He retired from TV. Just good friends with him, huh? Yeah, just good friends. Well, he's a good looking gentleman there. He seems like a nice fella. He's been real bad. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Looks like you brought all kinds of food. Me and her. Well, he's I've been here making a video about Thelma. He's a fan. He's a oh, fella in you. Well, yeah, I've been, you don't find many places like this open no more. She's been here 65 years. That's something, ain't it? It is. She's a very special lady. Well, I know. That's why I'm here making a video. <laughs> What's your name? Les. Les? Les. Les. Okay, Les. I'm John. I'm from Campbell County. You don't find people that's been nowhere in the same place 65 years, do you? Now, tell you something. These people around here, a lot of them would be in serious jeopardy without her oh yeah not she takes care of these people real well yeah well i've heard good things about her she's a good woman well i can see that well she must be pretty good to bring her bring her lunch like this come out here and eat with her she must well, well i'm gonna head back to camel county guys Good talking to y'all today, and I'll be back through for too long. Okay. Have a safe trip. I will. See you. God bless y'all. Bye bye. Right. Thanks for thanks for signing that for me. Yeah. I'll keep this. I got a room. I keep all the stuff like this I collect. Yeah. It's an archive room. I put my books up in there. Yeah. Nice meeting you, Les. Is it Les? Les. It's Lester. But Lester. Just Les. Les. All right, Les. I tell everybody. Just think of more or less, forget about more, and you got me. Less, all right. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see the Thelma's got a good friend. Yeah. Y'all enjoy your lunch. See y'all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.